good, everybody? Welcome back for some more Hannibal. Yes. That last episode was insane. I feel like every few minutes something crazy was going on. Yeah. Abigail done caught a body. She's working with Hannibal now. Hannibal's manipulation skills. He, 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 he's playing everybody. He really is the puppet master out here. He plays these mental gymnastics that, yeah. you know, he got everybody in control. It's definitely chess, not checkers for, yes, for Hannibal. It's low-key impressive. <laughs> oh, low yeah. Key. Oh, yeah. Very entertaining. Uh, Hannibal, in general, is just one of the most entertaining characters, to be honest. So yeah. I'm glad that we're enjoying this as much as we are. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the reactions. Yes. And um, if you want to check out our other stuff, check out Patreon. We've got early access and some other exclusives over there. Um, Patreon already saw this episode, so they're already ahead, but... Go ahead and like and subscribe and yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm not gonna try to pronounce this one. I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> Oof, that's that's my guess. Oof. My guess. I don't Oof. know. Somebody needs to put the syllables down in the comments for us <laughs> so we know how to pronounce this one. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's do it. When I look back from a distance, the house is like a boat on the sea. It's really the only time I feel safe. With noise and clarity, you could sense his madness. Yeah, seeing uh, Will put himself in that position where he, like, cut Abigail's throat last time was nuts. Yeah. How did you feel seeing Marisha Shaw impaled in his arms room? Guilty. Because I felt like I killed her. I know who I am. Not Garrett Jacob Hobbs, Dr. Lecter. Yeah, I was like, why would you feel guilty if Hobbs is already dead and you're putting yourself... <clears throat> I mean, in the shoes of Hobbs, they keep talking about him getting too close to these cases and having like a psychotic break. Maybe he feels like he's really becoming these people. He's like playing out these scenarios. With I mean, if that's the case, you feel like he would see what's right under his nose, which is Hannibal. Golly. We said we wanted to see some food today. Uh, not like this. Gotta replay Bro, this, re this rewind. Yeah, it's taking too long. Family dinner. Ugh. If you don't eat your growing foods, you won't get any dessert. One leaves the table. Oh my God! It's home invasion, controlling the Turners with threats of violence. Dude, was was it a robbery or? Just watching him yeah, do that has got to be weird. I would feel really uncomfortable. You know, someone's got to get rid of the excess meat. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're definitely eating human, huh? <laughs> they're going to start looking at Will different after this. Like, uh, I don't know. Will might be kind of delicious. Oh, no. They're going to get that taste, that little taste. <laughs> So how far ahead of Silence of the Lands is this supposed to be? Mm. Let us know in the comments, please. Yeah. Is that the little thing that goes on like a fishing rod? Like some sort of bait, yeah. Whoa, why'd you make yourself bleed? Gross. <laughs> I needed just a... Just a little taste. Something to hold him over. Pillars of the community, three children. Minus one. Uh, a son, Jesse. Possible runaway, probable abduction, or both. When misery reigns, it pours. Cute exit wounds, conical spray, shooter went low to high. Probably crouching. When was Jesse abducted? It said low to eye, like maybe because he's, he's short, like maybe the kid is short and he did the shooting. That's what I was thinking, too. I'm not normal. Not anymore. I'm a celebrity victim. Someone here asked me if I kept my stained clothes. How did that make you feel? Like I wanted to go home? They probably is thinking you can get some money off the stained clothes. Mm -hmm. That's so weird, though. Isolation can suck just as much. You have to find someone to relate to in this experience. It's... 
I mean, uh, oh, who's gonna relate? She found, yeah, you know who it's oh, gonna be. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so hard to watch a bright young girl go so adrift. Perhaps it's time Abigail's released from clinical treatment. She should be out in the world, finding her footing, giving her the confidence to move forward. Passion's good. Gets blood pumping. I'm glad we didn't have guns in my house. We shot my sisters just to get them out of the bathroom. I like oh my God, why would you say that? It's not funny, bro. <laughs> not the time. My baby sister got away with murder. Same. She had them all fooled. I thought middles were the problem. Middle's the sweet spot. Yeah. I was trying to figure out. Nah, what they be the problem. They be the problem. No, they they said it on point about the middle. The oldest is where it's at. All the victims have defensive wounds except for Mrs. Turner. What kind of victim forgives the killer at the moment of death? When it's the son. Yeah. You called it. This is wild. But why is it the boy? He came back like a year later and bodied his family? Because he's, he's still look young. Like... I mean, they said only a, like a year had passed. Tell me about your mother. Some lazy psychiatry, Dr. Lecter. Never knew her. An interesting place to start. <sighs> Tell me about your mother. Let's start there. Yeah, flip it on him, flip it on him. The proverbial orphan until I was adopted by my uncle Robertus when I was 16. You have orphan in common with Abigail Hobbs. Yeah, I, well, I connected a family of strays. I mean, a family all the Thanks same, though. Feeding them while I was away. What grudge was Mrs. Turner's killer harboring against her? Motherhood. Not motherhood. A perversion of it. A modified Buddha Noir. Ooh. I don't know what he said, but it looks good. Jeez. Your wife to my dinner table. Well, we're going to have to polish up our act. We can't have you diagnosing our marital problems all in one fell swoop. Rabbit. He should have hopped faster. <laughs> yes, he should have. I don't trust no. <gasps> oh! I don't he trust hopped none of faster. Should have. I don't trust him. Oh my God, he's it's feeding sad. this to him. You still suspect Abigail and Hobbs and their father's crimes? Perhaps. The nightmare under Will's pillow is that he was wrong about her. He needs an anchor jack. I just be having dinner. It's over this. Did he say to Jack, you're supposed to deliver your wife to the dinner table? <laughs> I don't like the way he said that, man. Yeah. You got one foot, it's bigger, one leg that's longer, puberty in full effect. Greasy fingerprints all over these things. No matches, but they're gorgeous. Isolated seven pairs <laughs> of shoe prints. Sizes seven, three and a half, and a boy's 11. The Lost Boys. The Lost Boys. I see you guys are pretty good at your job, though. Yeah, they're doing the work. As a livid spot at the center, a suck bruise. We'll have to spit everyone out. Whoa. What did I just say? Let's go! Damn, you gave I him mean, half a just, second to... Yeah, I'm like, you just said that. <laughs> hey, Jack ain't messing around. He found out that wasn't Rabbit, huh? His name is Connor Frist. Another kid. Another missing kid. The case was never solved. So it's just a yeah, band of misfits. You're expecting a crime scene. Oh, so, no. Someone, like, abducting these kids and, like, turning them... Into killers, like oh no! So these kids are just going around killing their own families. I don't know if it's their own families or if it's each other's families. But somebody ruined Christmas. Oh my god! They ruined Christmas. <laughs> hey yo, was one of them thrown in a fire? Did you see that? It was burnt. Oh my God. Not a single present under the tree for Mrs. Frist. Took her presents, took her motherhood. So who is our additional corpse in the fireplace? I'd say Connor. Oh my God. Connor couldn't put his panic back in a bottle, so he got shot too. Whoever shot him? Oh. Disowned him. Don't be sad about Connor. I guess I couldn't make him understand. The family you're born into isn't really Is that the girl from uh, Superstar? Superstar. <laughs> yeah. You think his family is just a stepping stone to real family. Because we're your family now, Christopher. Christopher. We have one family. Ooh-wee. 
kids are small, underweight for their age. Well, ADHD diagnoses for both boys. Ritalin, Focalin. The bullet that put Mrs. Frist out of her misery matches three used in a murder in Bangor, Maine a year ago. Mother of a 13-year-old boy shot to death with her own gun. He's older, he's been out in the world. Maybe he picked up a few things. But he's a pawn too. They just don't, they don't got the piece of the other lady yet. What's he about to do? He's scared, he pissed himself. Jesus. What's she got them doing right now? Are you feeling okay, honey? Oh my God. I've never done this before. You okay. gave them napkins to clean that up? What the fuck? What? Bruh, what get, are, what's, get a mop. What was about to happen? Was he trying to get the little boy to get her? And he just like chickened out? Cause he was just staring at him like, do it. I feel like she kidnapped him, got him involved in this, and now he's trying to get out. I mean, it makes sense, but why would they do it in public like that? Feeling paternal, Will? Aren't you? Our good friend, Dr. Bloom, has advised against taking too personal an interest in Abigail's welfare. We call them the Lost Boys. Yeah, that's kind of wild. Abigail's lost too. It's a good movie. I haven't seen that one in forever. You seen the Lost Boys? I have not. You help her find her way. I've made arrangements. You could say I'm one of your guardians. Might enjoy if I cooked for you. It'd be an appetite she's used to. Crime scene photos of Nicholas Boyle. Gutted. How you left him? No, he put some sauce on it because she didn't gut that boy. Yeah. I just have to get used to lying. For the rest of your life. Yep. Imagine. And when you're awake? I'm awake. I know I can live with myself. Does that make me a sociopath? No. It makes you a survivor. It makes it sound real nice. It's kind of crazy how he's taking people who basically had to kill and making it seem like they liked it. <laughs> yeah. Like, without it's them like, actually... You seem fine. You seem fine now. You seem like you rather enjoyed it. Have you thought about applying for schools? My dad killed girls at all the schools I applied to. Perhaps that can wait then. Uh, yeah. I want to work for the FBI. They wouldn't let me, though, would they? Because of what my dad did. Only if they believe that's in your nature, too. Have you ever tried psilocybin? You about to get her drugged up? That's what's in the tea. Oh, she's about to go on a trip. You don't give the baby shrooms? I mean, <laughs> she, I mean, she's grown. You want me to do drugs? I want you to do this drug with my supervision. Do you trust me? I'm the person she can trust. He's at the point where he doesn't even have to drug her. He's gonna tell her what's in the tea. Man, and she's gonna listen. She gonna take it anyway. Well, there's a pattern. Less to do with geography than psychology. What kind of kid does this? And what kind of kid follows a kid who does this? Capture bonding. Been an essential survival tool for a million years. You bond with your captor, you survive. Was well, that like a Stockholm syndrome or something? Ugh. Actually, nah. Once you. Uh, Whatever that keep egg the sausage. was in, yeah. I'll keep the sausage. I'll take the rest, though. Oh, it's kicking in. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, you and I will have many secrets. That feeling will pass. She might need a bag. Is she about to puke on him? She better not. I mean, if she does, it's his fault. You're making breakfast for dinner? High life eggs. High life eggs. Breakfast for dinner is always a good decision Spare. in my book. A paradox in the midst of a normal family. He's an outsider who doesn't look like one. Brother's looking for a mother. They're killing the mother's last. Whoever this woman is, she wants these children to burst with love for her. Where's this kid's parents? Fayetteville, North Carolina. Oh no, the baby. Oh, is it, it's about to go down? The baby can't do it. Christopher. Hi, Mom. 
I don't like this at all. At least we know she's gonna get it last, right? Oh my god. Or is she about to get it right now? Yes. Nah, but he knows what he has to do, or he knows what he's supposed to oh be doing. Oh my god, oh. the baby. Yeah, they need to get their sap. They came right. in there deep. You see Jack with the shoddy? Let's go, Morpheus. Dang. All right, Morpheus. Morpheus with the shoddy. <gasps> oh. Just in time. Little boy got to toss his in the bushes. But the mom's not, or the one lady's not there. Oh, wait. Don't shoot. You're home now. Put the gun down, Christopher. Shoot him, Christopher. Come on, Chris. You don't even like her. Please. Ah, Thank you. Easy. Let's go. Good shot. Thank you. We came in here deep. That was her that shot? I remember she was teaching Will how to shoot. Can I go home now? I don't think you're gonna go home. Yeah. Home. Your little ass going to jail. <laughs> That's all anybody knows. She told me that they weren't my family. That we had to make our own family. I don't have any children, no. And you don't know what it's like. Someone who makes such a big deal about common courtesy, I'm a little taken aback, slash a lot taken aback, that you would take my patient. Don't put me in this position ever again. You gonna put you on that cutting board, that's what you about to do. Rude. Animal shockingly rude. Where is she? She's in the dining room. Is she still room? high? Yeah. Experienced a bit of anxiety, so I gave her a sedative. I'm gonna give her half a Valium, but she may be a little hazy. <laughs> She's still a little trippy. She might have a little case of the giggles. Half a Valium, okay. Are you hungry? I will make breakfast for dinner. Nah, she looks brainwashed. She does look like a zombie. Like, what kind of shrooms are these? Family. 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 Yeah, let's go. Bruh. We, cause Hamill did all that. He don't even really understand how messed up she could be. Like they don't really even know each other. And you over here. He's, some he, he's, he's planting seeds right now, you know? I think it's too late for us to have kids. Oh, that don't even sound like you got a marriage. For me. Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Wow. What's that Why mean? does it feel like this is the first time y'all even had this conversation? No, yeah, that was, there's way more to unpack there. Larry! <laughs> Bro, what? That was a lot said without saying anything. Yeah, that was very loaded. <laughs> Wow. Ooh. Oh my God. That was a crazy way to end things. Wow. Okay. So it's like every episode, we just get a whole different scenario, a whole different killer, a whole different, you know, crazy situation that is very different from all the other ones. And Hannibal's still making more moves. Like, he, he wow. is continually manipulating everyone and just, he, he's building trust, which is even more dangerous, like, with everyone. He's not to be trusted, like, he's how? He's not to be trusted, but every single time he's building more and more trust within these individuals. But he's starting to slip up a little bit, because now he done messed up with Bloom. But it's like, it, it's not even, even, even with him slipping up and being, like, blatant as... As blatant as he is sometimes, he's earned so much trust that they're not even, they're not even putting two and two together. I, I feel like if, if anyone is smart enough to do it, 
in it it's so gotta far, be Will. I feel like it's Bloom. I don't think it's Will at all. I think no. Will is the last person. He's I, gonna be like off the true. deep end because of Hannibal. I think that uh, if, if anybody it's, Bloom, if it's Bloom or Jack. Cause he keep feeding Jack a bunch of craziness, and, yeah. and Jack gonna be like, he gonna he gonna chew it like. And you know, I don't if know. it's one of those two, he's gonna have to try and get rid of them before. He tried to say it was rabbit. He said the rabbit should have hopped faster, and then they cut to the dude running away. Oh god! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. No, well, that was definitely a very good episode. That was very good. Uh, I'm just curious to see. It, it seems like we're so further in the season than we are because that was only episode That's four only, yeah like i feel like we're damn near to the end of the season but we're not like at we're all. about to get a climax or something i'm just but... curious as how all this ties together i feel yeah. like i feel like at some point like all of these random scenario episodes even though they're not completely random yeah uh are just gonna tie together somehow so that's what i'm waiting for that big that big mic drop moment you know yeah especially with uh the things going on with abigail like it's, it's all gotta like eventually tie in together for sure that's crazy that he gave her shrooms <laughs> she started seeing her parents this whole episode was kind of centered around family and kind of a theme yeah, you know even more revealed about her you know she's starting to look kind of villainish at this point i mean you know the the closer you get to hannibal and letting him you know manipulate you're you're gonna you're gonna come off looking bad because yeah. he needs you to look bad in order for him to look good or at least he's getting, fly under the radar. Yeah, he's getting uh, Abigail and Will very comfortable in their uh, insanity. Exactly, exactly, yeah. and I think he's just literally egging it on. So curious Ooh. to see how how far it goes how deep the rabbit hole goes definitely if you're watching this um from youtube side go ahead and like and subscribe so you know when we're putting out new content patreon saw this early we love y'all we love the support if you want to support us um our patreon link's going to be in the comments below and uh all right y'all we'll catch y'all later thank you for pulling up peace y'all peace